Today I will show you how to speed jump in After Effects. Yo, it's Bobikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is do not get scared of graphs. If you know how to do graphs, like you know there's nothing to get scared of and just don't get scared of graphs. Alright, so whatever is the reason you're speed jumping, it might be like to like sync and edits or it might just be like for fun, you know, in a music video. I'll show you some tips here. So to start to speed jump, you can press Control alt t and this will bring up like the time remap values of your video. Time remap is basically like the starting frame. Like if you press on it, this is going to be like the starting frame. And if you go to the ending, this is like the ending frame, you know, of your clip, I guess. And we can keyframe it here, but you can also keyframe it here. But I don't know if I would recommend it all the time. And what you can do is like, you can also sync it with music, I guess. Not always, you don't have to sync. Like if you're doing a music video, you don't always have to like sync it like all the time. But if you're doing some edits or something, even in a music video, you might want to press like L two times and you will start to see like your music graph. And as I can see, like it starts to hit here. So I'm going to mark it here as like the start of my speed jump. Then you can see like there's this like little bump I guess, I don't know. So we can mark it before it and we can place this keyframe right here and we can scroll this down. So basically with a speed jump, you can also like shorten the length of your clip, I guess, to fit in your music. This is what I mean, actually. Listen to the music right now. Okay, as you saw, like it ends here and then the music also beat ends there. So what we can do is select both the frames now and press F9. And now I really recommend to go and press on the motion blur. And also, this is not always, but you sometimes want to have the smart resample on or whatever. I don't really remember what this is called. Now, you don't always need it because sometimes it will look very bad, but most of the time you should have it. And I'll show you later on what it actually does. So now let's go to graph editor. And here, oh, boohoo, like this is very difficult. But no, this is not that scary, guys. First, you want to go to choose graph and just make sure you're on edit value graph. Edit speed graph is like, if you're doing edit speed graph, you must be like a demon for this, but I'm going to use edit value graph and now we can press on this like keyframe i guess and to speed jump you basically just need to put this up i guess and put this down like that and then like if you want to zoom in on the graph you can hold control and scroll with the mouse you know up or down and you can look at it and this is not going to be that very sharp it's just going to look like this but i'm going to render it out for you guys and this is how it looks now yeah, pretty cool like slow down like that's honestly enough for this clip now a lot of the times you might want to make it a bit sharper to be honest especially in edits but also in music videos so like you can go to like the middle here you know and to make it a bit more sharper you can press on this add or remove keyframe just like point this up a bit and point this down a bit and this will be a bit more sharper like in the middle you know if you want to make it like super sharp i don't recommend to do this all the time but you can also extend this up and this one down now this is very sharp graph and this is where you might start to actually see the effect of this button right here what this button basically does is when we press like right here it basically makes it so if there are two of the same frames because look this is the same frame and this is the same frame it will basically make them look a bit different although this is like the same frame going on because it's like some blur but sometimes this does not look good at all but for this time it's looking good and this is how it will look now, as you can see, guys, that is a bit too sharp. So for this music, you don't need it. But in some music, you really do want to have this sometimes like this. Uh, but yeah, this is not needed. So let's just go back to the most simple speed jump in the world. Now, sometimes this is actually not enough. Now, when you're speed jumping, there's another little speed jump that I seem to be using more and more often. And this works not that many of times. But uh, like when you're doing like more of glitch edits, when there's like a huge slowdown. And this is very popular in edits and also music videos is this graph now this is basically like very fast at the start and just like stupidly slow at the ending now the problem with this graph is this as you can start to see this is the effect of this button right here because we have this button like if we didn't have this button this would just be the same frame and it just stops now this will not happen if your video is on a high frame rate but this video right here specifically this is a ken carson something like ken carson go music video or something like that and this has 24 frames per second if this video had more frames per second this would not really be the case and I would be like chilling right now. I'm also editing in 24 frames per second. So if you have more frame rates, like this graph works very well, but now it just kind of doesn't work. So yeah, as we can see, this graph has a lot of problems, you know. One way to fix it that I have found is to go to the last frame right here, press on it and set it one frame backwards. So now it's like uh, 4704. So we're gonna set it to three. Yeah, just want, move it one frame backwards. Maybe you can move it like two or whatever you want. And this should basically do the trick. Now we can 
press on the graph editor. Now it's going to be like very, very slow at the ending. And if you want to add some more motion blur to it, then you can press Ctrl Y. And here we can add, I call it RSMB fake. Now this is a preset, so you're not going to have it like just RSMB fake, so you'll have to save it. But what you will actually need to add is CC force motion blur, and you will need to make the motion blur samples to 10. Turn native motion blur on and just yes, have these settings the same here. And here's how it looks. And yeah, basically that's how you get speed jump. Like you either use uh, this little speed jump or you put a middle like with this and then you just make it a bit stiffer or you just do the one where it just lags like this. Oh, also as you can see the starting frame right here is being caused by this. And what you can do to like not have this is like go to one frame forward, press control shift D go back here and just take it off. But yeah, guys, if you have any questions on the speed jumping, then let me know. Uh, you can also like DM me on Instagram if you have any questions. And I also have a povikas.com website where I sell video editing assets such as my Flickr presets pack, which is like very good for like speed jumps and for these type of effects here. And I also have like an opium presets pack, but uh, both of these packs like require some plugins. So make sure you have plugins for those. But I would really recommend to check out povikas.com if you guys have plugins and would also like to increase your editing potential to like the next level. I'm not even gonna lie. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.